Hey there, this is Shannara from Star Trek Online Delta Elite's channel taking you through another episode walkthrough in the Dominion Domination series we're the next to the last episode, Operation Gamma if and Now in this episode you need to be in a, s it's a small craft mission, so you need to be in a fighter I or a shuttle. To the gamma quadrant to seek out the now just to show you, if you happen to be here and you're not already in one, they refer you to, <coughs> excuse me, to go down to Bajor or to DS9 and hit the ship and shuttle requisitions. But if you simply visit the shuttle bridge, I'm sorry, visit your starship bridge, you can from your bridge take your um, take yourself down to engineering and in engineering there is a ship selector in there and so you can automatically turn and ship to um, switch to which I just did your shuttlecraft so then I can begin Operation Gamma just a quick shortcut you don't have to beam down to the planets or find a, a ship and shuttle requisition place to do it you can always do it on your own ship so oh yeah this one so we're going to signal in the fleet and they're going to fight the big guys while you're going to disable sensors on Deep Space Nine. You see the sensor cluster alpha there. Now when you take these sensors down you're going to get attacked. And when that happens you're going to have a spawn I should say that comes at you. When that happens um, there's also going to be a worker bee that's going to come back to repair this right up there we go see the sensor B repairing the subsystem that's your main primary target first take him out the work B then you focus on the spawns because <coughs> once they if they repair it you have to start all over and that gets frustrating if you're on the last sensor node and all of a sudden you're having to go through that full repair system. And there's two fighters that spawn each time. Two or three. Then you can head over to sensor cluster beta. Same philosophy. Get yourself prepared. And that's, I don't remember if the worker bee comes up on both of them. Well, I don't see one at all, so I'm going to head over to the sensor cluster gamma here. Sorry about that. There's the worker bee. Take that out, make sure, I don't think. Yeah, there's the second one, you gotta get it too. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> I don't think it's on all three of them. Alright, now you can take out your fighters. good. Let's get cluster delta. And epsilon over here. Ah. 
wasn't sure. Dog on it. Fair. Got that one. And that one, and let's get the third one here. Seven, six, five. Just waiting for my torpedo to come up. There we go. That's it, I got them all. Yeah. <clears throat> now take out your fighters again. Honestly, I thought I had gotten them all, but there must be one more. Oops. I didn't reassign my tray configuration, so everything's kind of not where it usually is. Ah, Zeta. Now, that should be the last one. Z. Obviously. There we go. We've been spotted. <coughs> we have to defeat the Gemadar attack ship. So, the Gemadar ship is on an intercept course. Shields and weapons are at full, Captain. I'm ready to start an attack line. And here it comes. Oh wait, nope, there it is. Ah, we're under attack! My old Warcraft days. Oh look, he went and stuck himself up against the hull. Wasn't that nice of him? Oop, he didn't stay that way for long now, did he? Okay, so at this point, use the wormhole. Head into the next phase Setting of the mission the here. <clears throat> we'll be halfway to the Gamma Quadrant before the Jemadar know what happened. Impressive, isn't it? This is my first trip into the wormhole, sir. I've heard it's a place of great wonders, and even greater dangers. Captain Curlin says there's a traitor in the Idron system who knows how to contact the Dominion. Well, this is definitely going to be the YouTube video screenshot. Pretty cool, huh? Our mission quickly. I always look However, for the Curlin says best spot in the mission that really represents what the mission's about, so you can, if you've ever been Once through the... the world, well, if, since these are Delta recruits, you really get the opportunity to just glance at an icon and know what mission it is.
my philosophy at least. <clears throat> so, reach the navigation bacon and scan for the ship. I'm picking up a ship on long-range sensors, Captain. The configuration matches Farrick's ship, sir, but I'm detecting damage to several systems. There is no response to a hail, sir, but her communications array might be damaged. Setting a course to the ship's coordinates now. Oh, this enjoyable one. Oh, this is one, another one of those missions where being a Klingon is so awesome to be able to cloak when you need to. Oh, I noticed my weapons were a little weak there before. I want you taking out the shield generator. You head into the asteroid to find Hadron, I think. I forget which frame gate is. Whoa. I can hear profit in the Ferric. wind okay. and the wind. In me the best trade time is m oh <laughs> the time is profit while it's easier for what it's great out here time <laughs> is it's money great out here i'll give it to you straight intel about the dominion is hard to acquire and therefore extreme so here's the deal you Okay, so you're going to have a bunch of <coughs> scans. And there's two different things you have to do with each type of scan that you take. Um, one involving, uh, as you can see, the different type of uh, mineral. So hold on, give me one quick second here so I can jot a quick note down. For solomite, RF, resonance frequency, and then use a GA. For cormaline, you use a GA, and then you use a MA. And for iridium, you use an MA and then a PB. So, with that information, when you go to the three locations you need to go, you should be able to easily um, take them out. If you do them in the wrong order, you get a chance to do them again, but get it right the first time. You don't have that problem. Oh, sorry. Thought I was pointing the other direction. The little exit right here.
And let's head to the three different points. Now I, I like cloaking because as you see, <coughs> some of your points. Oh, whoops. Wow, that decloaked me. Interesting. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say this. Why wasn't it showing it up that way? But there we go. Cloak. So you look for the ally. Right, derelict ships, salvage materials. Okay, so scan the ship. It says bolomite detected, so RF, which is a residency frequency scan. Then your GA, geological analysis. And your salvage materials. So I said three points, and obviously there are four. Now that's the thing is, once you've salvaged the materials, the spots don't go away. So keep track of where you are. Now I'll go ahead over to the next one. On the right. And I go in a circle. Cloak. There it is. Try to get myself up there to the right level. There we go. Oh, back up. <coughs> Sometimes my controls don't respond as quickly as I would like. Okay, scan the ship. And it says cormaline, which was GA and MA, geologic analysis. And then micro, yeah, right. The MA. Successful. Move to your next cloak. So yeah, having cloaking gets you through this without having to take on the enemies. Now there's a point at the end where you're going to have to take some on anyhow, but helps you get through all of this and not have to deal with them. Scan the ship. <coughs> Iridium, which is an MA, micromographic analysis, and a PB, which is a particle beam. And that's it. Nope. Sorry, that was number three. And we take the last one over there. Because we're literally running through swarms of other ships. That shows I should go down, so... Right about there, I see him. Hit the fourth derelict ship. Well, don't literally hit him, but get in the 1K range, scan your ship. And this one's got Cormaline again, which is GA, a geolo geologic analysis. And a micromographic analysis, yeah. Had to look at the word. There we go. Master salvager. Now this is one of those again where you can bring multiple people on your team into this mission and you can get all of the accolades with a tactical and a science as well. But 
as it says right there, if you're a team and they have not completed their objectives yet, you can um, wait until they're all done doing their things. And that'll get you all of the... Uh, but let's head back to Ferric. So yeah, team mission. Fun to go on a team. Get all of your optionals, accolades, I mean. So she's in there, but the quickest route to her really is through that little exit tunnel I showed you on the other side of the asteroid. And she's just over to the left. doing business with you. I'll just verify the trip. Quick! Cut the comm! Jump to warp! What do you mean we don't have warp drive yet? Get it going! Now! Oops. Wait, can they still hear me? You know the funny thing about resonance pulses? They drive <coughs> the swarmers crazy. So, time for some swarmer action. Head back out the way you came. And we defeat three of the uh, swarmers groups. So yeah, a nice 360 beam would probably be more beneficial in here. I just keep watching. I de-click and when I see... Um, when I see the torpedo light up, fire it off and then go back to firing. Okay, for this next group, I'm gonna let it hit my cooldown. Oh, bastards. Some bitches did it to me again, didn't they? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So, wait for it, wait for it. How many have we got? One of three? Bastards. That's their turn. So yeah. 360 beam. Far better in this particular one. I totally forgot about the swarmers that I was going to be dealing with. Head over to your next group. Oop, I got it three. Okay. Follow Ferric's ship.
Farrick ship has life support and engines, sir, but that's about it. Shields are failing, and she only has limited weapons. The lead Jem'Hadar vessel is hailing us, sir. Putting it on screen now. Ah, so the representatives of the Alpha Quadrant finally make their way to seek aid from the Dominion. We have been expecting you. According to our information, you're having a slight occupation problem on Deep Space Nine. I might be able to assist you with that problem if you have come here in friendship. And as we all know, friends help one another. You can start by destroying this nuisance and her ship. She has intruded into the Gamma Quadrant without permission and is conducting unauthorized salvage operations in our space. The penalty for this is clear. By all rights, we should execute you as well. But I am willing to overlook your involvement this time. So, as the Ferengi would say, do we have a deal? So there's two ways to look at this from a Klingon perspective. One, you want to kill Ferrick anyways. Because of what she did. I'm getting some... Uh, we are still friends. Or number two, you're going to let some... I'm in a bit of a spot here. Jem'Hadar wimp like that threaten you and then tell Frank. you what you need to do? Hey, Frank, so, I let her go. Because no Dominion jerk-off is going to tell me exactly what to do. Oh, excuse my language. Hail the Jamadar. Sorry, I am getting some lag here. You come seeking my aid and then refuse a simple request? This is not an auspicious start. <sighs> Nevertheless, you have something I want. And I have something you need. The only logical conclusion is cooperation. I will return to the Alpha Quadrant with you and render whatever assistance I can. Hmm. There is a price, though. For more than 30 years, Starfleet has held one of the founders as a prisoner of war. I'll set you up for the next episode. Imagine it takes to contain a god. The arrogance. When the founder is returned to me, you will have the Dominion's complete cooperation. Why does your and god need a Voku? I guarantee that Karukhan and his fleet will not trouble Deep Space Nine again. Alright, and that's the end of the mission there. Leave the Gabma Quadrant. Return to your commander. And collect the reward. Hmm. Choices, choices, huh? That's an interesting one. What do I have right now? I'm all Mark 10 on that stuff. I'll tell you, having a Mark 10, but that would only be for my um, shuttle. So, I think I'll go with the uh, combat impulse engines. Congratulations. And. Talk to the battle. I've hit level 50, so I'll catch you next episode, and uh, hopefully my Zen ship, if I'm right, I should be able to purchase, I mean, pick it up now. I've, yeah, the Mothar Raptor is available, and I can fly it now. So I'm going to be uh, upscaling from my Kin Raptor, Quinn Heavy Raptor, to the uh, Mothar. See you then. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.